Sternberg, media art student at the CTE Academy. Thank you for joining us for this District News Minute. With a tight timeline and a critical requirement to stay on track to be open by the fall of 2021, plans for the new Northwest High School project continue to move right along. At their last school board meeting, the board unanimously approved a motion to move forward to contract with the local construction, construction firm, Journey Group, to provide construction manager at risk services for the new high school project. The Sioux Falls School District issued a request for proposal on October 24th. Following the issuing of the rep, the district received four proposals from firms expressing interest. A review committee from the district evaluated the proposals with thorough and rigorous criteria, including project approach, construction manager at risk experience, project organization, staffing levels, project schedule and plan, and of course, cost. All firms showed the necessary qualification to act as the CMR. However, the Journey Group's proposal not only provided the highest level of expertise needed, but they also provided the lowest cost proposal at $3.67 million. This fee structure is in line with the district's project estimate. In other district news, preliminary data from the South Dakota Department of Education State Accountability Report is in for the 2017-2018 academic school year. The State Accountability Report Card falls under ESSA, the Every Student Succeeds Act federal guidelines, and supports an accountability system that is credible, meaningful, and relies on multiple measures that contribute to a student's participation for college, the workforce, and life. A district's performance includes multiple measures in the overall score, including student performance and progress, high school completion, college and career readiness, English, language learner progress, educator qualification, and school environment and safety. Initial data indicates the Sioux Falls School District continues to show strong academic performance. The district's graduation rate remains steady at 83% and the completion rate increased to 88%. The district's math proficiency matched the state at 49% and outpaced the state in the area of science by 3%. English language art showed a slight growth at the district level but was still just shy of the state level by 2%. As always, district officials are always working on new ways to improve those numbers. Finally, it's time to start planning for next year already. Open enrollment for the 2019-2020 school year started on early in the morning on Monday, December 3rd. After some public confusion as to whether or not open enrollment was already closed for next year, it is in fact open and administrators at the Instructional Planning Center are accepting completed applications on a first come, first serve basis. You can pick up an enrollment application at any school location or at IPC. Decisions to accept or reject open enrollment will be based on the criteria listed under the open enrollment application standards, which can be found on our website. If you have any questions about the open enrollment procedure, please contact your individual school or call the Instructional Planning Center. You can learn more about new initiatives, classroom projects, view fine arts performances and sporting events, and get important information for parents and students by checking out the Sioux Falls School District cable channel, KLEARN, your Sioux Falls Classroom Connection, on Mid-Continent channels 20 and 595, or by using the website at www.sf.k12.us. Join us each week for more news and information about your Sioux Falls School with the District News Minute. I'm Cameron Bird. Thanks for joining us.